सो फ्रेंड्स इन आवर मोटर एम ई पी ओरल्स देर आर सम क्वेश्चन आस्ट ऑन द टॉपिक कॉल्ड रोटो कैप सो द क्वेश्चन आर एज फॉलोज पार्ट ऑफ रोटो कैप वर्किंग ऑफ रोटो कैप वाई वी नीड रोटो कैप यूज ऑफ कंसेंट्रिक स्प्रिंग्स ऑन बॉल्स सो आई कवर्ड ऑल द क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दिस टॉपिक सो मूविंग टूवर्ड्स आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन पार्ट ऑफ रोटो कैप सो एस इन द फिगर यू कैन सी दैट द रोटो कैप इज प्लेस्ड अब द स्प्रिंग्स ऑन द वॉल and from top it is being locked with the help of quarter pin so the main parts of roto cap are belvel washer ball race a spring carrier and the, with the help of collet it is being attached to the wall spindle and there are inclined tracks in which this ball when its spring movement is there and due to this movement the roto cap rotates which rotates the wall moving towards our next question working of roto cap so to make you understand about the working of rotor cap i have taken the one photo from the devan arena so that you can get the correct concept of the working of rotor cap so as you can see there are two figures figure a and figure b i am not describing the parts i have already briefed you about the part in my previous question so moving towards our working in close position the belvil washer disc is pushed against the body with slight force and disc spring is not deflected when the valve opens the belvil washer this gets pushed against the body with a higher force this load is transferred to the balls which causes the balls to be pushed to the deeper recesses and induce rotation relieving of pressure when valve closes causes the balls and the spring to return to the original position i have attached this video so that you can get a better idea about the working of roto cap so as you can see when the spring is getting pressed the ball moves out and in so when the valve opens the roto cap rotate it 7 to 8 degree so this is how the roto cap works so moving towards our next question maintenance of roto cap improper rotation of the valve rotator will cause carbon to get caught in the valve seat and blow by at the seat and it also affects the service life of the valve and valve seat therefore periodically overhaul and check the valve rotator here's how to do it it's possible to disassemble the rotator into the body ball plate belleville spring and spring shoe by removing the circlip wash the disassembled parts with washing oil Check if there are no abrasions or corrosion in each part after cleaning. If there are any damaged parts, replace them. At this time, mark on the rotator so that it is easy to check the revolution work during a run. To check the proper working of the roto cap, there is one mark placed on the roto cap. and a mallet is taken with the help of which it is hammered and as you can see in the video the roto cap rotates moving towards our next question why we need roto cap so there are some benefit due to the valve rotation there are less deposits on seat passages and ceiling faces corrosion and erosion is reduced overheating of single spot is prevented as the valve is rotating temperatures of the valve seat and ceiling faces are reduced rotation is needed when burning heavy fuel oil now as you can see that there are two types of rotating methods rotating vanes and roto cap so rotating vanes are on two stroke and roto caps are on four stroke moving towards our next question why we use concentric springs on valves so there are two springs on each valve placed on the cylinder head so the reasons of concentric springs in the exhaust and suction valves are as follows if one spring of the valve fails the valve will be held up by the other spring the thickness of the springs of the suction and exhaust valve can be reduced the space required for one large spring is reduced when the frequency due to the natural vibration of the spring is in harmonic with the speed of the camshaft the spring may vibrate axially and cause surge this can be avoided by using a spring of different size one inside the other to avoid the side thrust exerted on the spring 
one spring is left handed other is right handed so that the resultant thrust will be zero so friend there was one more question asked that how many springs are there on the each valve so the answer is there are two springs on the each valve one inside the other so friends if this video was helpful please like the video and subscribe the channel marine health port